Billionaire investor Alki David, who had expressed an interest to invest in the cannabis industry on St. Kitts and Nevis, was disrespectful to the people of the country, opined social activist Dwyer Astafan. Commenting on the chain of events involving Mr. David last month, who was arrested for bringing into the country hemp seedlings in his bid to get farmers on the island to grow cannabis for the export market, Mr. Astafan said Mr. David conducted himself in a disrespectful manner. What I didn't like about Mr. David's approach, and I don't see anything wrong with Dr. Douglas bringing in an investor. He's the leader of the opposition. That doesn't mean he can't bring in an investor. If the investor made mistakes insofar as licensing and other permits were concerned, then, then, then that's another matter. Um, I don't have the details on that. What I do know and I have evidence of is that on several occasions he conducted himself in a very disrespectful and unbecoming manner. And that to me is a red flag. If you're coming into our country, don't just make promises to people that they're going to make money. Show them respect. And I don't think Mr. David showed us respect the way he ought to have. Maybe he's accustomed to behaving like that wherever he goes. Um, he and others like him must know that that's not acceptable to us. Mr. David arrived in St. Kitts and Nevis on the invitation of opposition leader Dr. Denzel Douglas. At a press conference last month, an irate Mr. David blurted out profanities as he called on Prime Minister Dr. Timothy Harris to speed up the process in passing the law legalizing the use of cannabis. I do deal with Harris today. If he gives the farmers licenses now today to stop farming rather than f around, excuse me, for another three months. Oh, stop it, guys. Like anyone doesn't say the word f Give me a break. Shh. You know. Both Dr. Douglas and a Labour Party chairman, Dr. Terence Drew, who were both at the press conference, have distanced themselves from Mr. David's profane remarks in a press release issued days later. Mr. David said at that press conference that he was arrested when he attempted to leave the country on his private jet long after his hemp seedlings were confiscated by authorities. He argued that if he was allowed to enter the country without the seedlings, he should not have been arrested. But Mr. Astavan contended that the timing of his arrest is not germane to the issue. Hemp seeds are sold in the supermarkets here. Right. I use hemp in my breakfast every morning. Hemp seeds. So if he was bringing in hemp, um, he would still need to have a permit, an import license. Um, if he's bringing in hemp plants, seedlings, then he would have to get paperwork from the Agricultural de Department and possibly from the Ministry of Health. So I don't know if he abided by those specific protocols. I don't know the details of it. And it is really not for him to decide that. Um, seeing that it was done in association with Dr. Douglas, who would know the protocols, I would presume that Dr. Douglas or Mr. David's legal advisor would have guided him as to what the processes were. So I, I really don't have information on that. Um, I, do, I don't have information on that part of it. But even if hemp is a legal product in our market, as I said, the supermarkets sell it, it doesn't mean you can just bring in something as you like and decide it's here in the airport, you know, I'm bringing it in, I'm landing it. It doesn't work that way. Meanwhile, Mr. Astavan believes this matter pertaining to Mr. David has become a political one and it does not favor Dr. Douglas and the Labour Party. If this has been given political stuff because of the Dr. Douglas, the leader of the opposition, so the other side said, and Mr. Alki David's behavior didn't help him, nor did it help Dr. Douglas politically. Which is what I was going to ask next, if yeah. you think there's a become political. Well, it is, a pol it is very political. I would be surprised if the incumbents do not use the if you will, the Alki David affair as a political weapon against Dr. Douglas as the silly season comes upon us. I wouldn't be surprised. And so Dr. Douglas will have to do some rationalization and defending on that. The cannabis bill already had its first reading in the National Assembly in May, just days before Mr. David's press conference. Mr. David was released on bail and is to appear in court to answer to drug charges for smuggling 1.3 million in cannabis plants onto the island. His business partner, Charles Edwards, otherwise known as Chase Ergen, was charged with the use of threatening language.
resisting arrest, and battery on police. I am Andre Huey for SKN Newsline.